Medicare 2024 premiums are announced. We're going to do a quick review of all of that. My name's Jay O. I'm the author of Maximize Your Medicare. The 2024 edition is available for pre-order. You can see the book cover there in the lower left hand corner of your screen. Let's just dive right into it because the changes are not unexpected, but still going to affect many. So I always have to do this. This is our new world now, which is we do not offer every plan available in your area. Currently, we represent approximately 15 organizations with offer 100 products nationwide. Please contact Medicare.gov 1-800-Medicare or your local state health insurance program to get information on all of your options. The strange thing here, candidly speaking, is that today's broadcast is not trying to sell you anything. For that, if you want to have Medicare guidance, info at gh2benefits.com. Info at gh2benefits.com. You will be have to reach out to me. We don't make outgoing calls, to be candid with you, because there's so much controversy about the marketing end. The way that we keep away from the line is don't even come close. That's my only possible uh, approach. So here we go. This is the CMS, cms.gov, which is the federal website uh, for Medicare, Centers for Medicaid, Medicare and Medicaid Services. There it is. Uh, 2024 Part A premiums and deductibles. So here, let's just, you know, we've got a lot of, you know, this is how great we're doing, etc. Here it is, 174.70 for 2024. That's your bottom line. Right? What? It's about a 6% increase. $10 a month, basically 980, if you will. You can see it there on your screen. <coughs> the deductible will go to $240, right? Which is higher by $14 as you can see. It was 226, it is now 240. In addition to that, what you have down here is, well, for example, you'll see Irma table here. So as many people know, I am a fellow, education fellow at the Alliance for Lifetime Income, which is essentially a think tank. And basically, <clears throat> let's see if we can find it here. You can see the other day, I my article, my research note, appeared on protectedincome.org, which is the official website for the Alliance for Lifetime Income. It is actually talking about Medicare Irma. All you have to do is go here, click, and up will come the, up will come the article. So be sure to go to there. Uh, it's all on gh2benefits.com. You can see... Very importantly, you go to the education and recent posts, you can see the <laughs> crazy number of posts here. Only what, something like 70 pages worth of uh, all at that pace. Pretty nutty stuff. So let's just go back here to the CMS because we're not too much, we're not going to take too much time here today, but I did want to review this for you. Let's see if the hamsters can get going a little bit quicker. There we go. No. So you can see that Irma is, these are the effects of Irma, right? That's the amount, and this is what your bottom line, right? Remember, Irma is calculated using your taxable and modified adjusted gross income, which is a special version, which is discussed in that article, and possibly higher premiums. So what you have here is, you know, there there are some nuances here. So that if you are this is this presumes married filing jointly. This is married filing separately. You may have very private reasons for that. Okay. 
these are the deductibles and part A deductibles and et cetera. It is going from 1600 to 1632. Remember, this is by benefit period, not by calendar year. Okay. And you can see slightly higher here for skilled nursing facility. It doesn't really change things, right? Which is that Medicare Advantage will have a separate schedule. Medigap, these costs are paid in most cases. There are a few cases where that is not the case. Okay. You can see here that uh, for those people who do not qualify for for Part A as a result of their tax records, you can see the cost is here. It's here. It's in the book, which is that if you do not have, who have had 30 quarters, but not 40 quarters, in other words, it's quarters of coverage. So if you've paid into taxes for 30 quarters, what is it, seven and a half years, but not 10, you can pay for Part A cost 278. And for less than 30, it will cost 505. So for people who are uh, divorced or their widow's widower, if their prior spouse qualified, you qualify. It is a question I very frequently get asked, but I just want to make that clear to you. So the reality is, is that these are pretty much in line with what I would have expected. I don't expect deflation. I thought that last year, that actually the decline in Medicare Part B was a little odd because for me, for me, I want those trust funds to be in better condition. One way is to, even if they got extra savings from another location, to not to just hold the line. The issue is that all the stakeholders are under some amount of stress, depending on you know the hot take that you want to listen to that day. The AMA, most notably, you know, for me, the mo the biggest news is that, you know, for that physician pay is being cut. And this I find to be, you know, difficult, very difficult. So let me just see here. I just need to make sure. Uh, yep. Okay. I was looking at my other computer to make sure they're broadcasting. Away. I, you know, when you're the production department and hitting stream, it's, it's more than a little bit nerve wracking. <laughs> 